Hi, this is Pastor Coy Sampson with the Mace Road Church. Welcome to Psalms 365.1, where we will be praying through the book of Psalms one day at a time, asking God to shape our lives to the truth of Scripture in Christ Jesus, devoting ourselves to the heart of God as revealed to the psalmist by Holy Spirit, and praying the Holy Scriptures back to our Father in Heaven. Oh, welcome to day 120 of Psalm 365.1. Today we're continuing in Psalm 55, verses 12 through 23. And this psalm, the continuation of this psalm, is really the, the psalmist David going back and forth between the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and those who are humble and seek after God's face and turn away from sin toward God and trust in the Lord, and the Spirit of Antichrist, the Spirit of Satan that's in the world. And so... At the very beginning, it says, "For in verse 12, For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it, nor is it one who hates me, who has exalted himself against me. This is that ancient picture of Satan, who wanted to ascend above the Most High God, who wanted to rise in the assembly of heaven, higher than every I, I will, I will, I will, and, and wanted to, in pride, be lifted up higher than the Most High God. This is the spirit of Satan from way back in the beginning, that spirit of pride, me, me, I, I, I. And so it's also an antichrist spirit because any spirit that denies Jesus as Lord is the spirit of antichrist. Any spirit that denies that Christ is Lord is an antichrist spirit. And so we see this at work together. Then I could hide from him, but it was you, my man, my equal, my companion, and my acquaintance. Some versions say, my friend. And really, we see Judas in this picture. The spirit at work in Judas, the spirit of his father, Satan, the adversary, the devil, the one who is against God. This is that Antichrist spirit that we think of. It's not a, a lot of times we think of end time prophecy, Antichrist spirit, this man of perdition that will rise up during the end times. And there's things that will take place like that in the end times. But for us, we need to be aware that the Antichrist spirit is moving and active in the world around us, and we will encounter it and confront it every day. This spirit that denies Christ is Lord. We have to be so aware that this spirit is working and moving in our world around us. This spirit that denies Christ is Lord. We are against this spirit in the world. And so to make clear this spirit, it says in verse... 19 that god will hear and afflict those these are the ones who battle against the son these are the ones who battle against christ our lord god will hear and afflict them even he who abides from old because they do not change therefore they do not fear god some versions say men who do not change their ways do not fear god and so these men who do not change their ways, what's that mean? Everything changes. Everyone changes. Everything changes. It's one thing we can count on this world. Nothing stays the same, but everything changes except the heart of men. Many times we say everything changes, nothing stays the same, but many, there are many who will never change their minds and turn from their sin to God. And so those who don't change, what's that mean? That means those who do not repent. And repent means to turn away from sin, to turn away from, to change your mind, to change your position, to make a 180 degree turn, to turn away from sin and towards God. And so these are the men who do not change. They do not fear God. They have no reverence for God. They do not repent of their sin. And so in us, sometimes there's this a hint of an antichrist spirit that wants to deny the lordship of Jesus Christ, that wants to push against the spirit of repentance in our lives, the spirit of change in our lives. We like to stay in our sin. We like to remain with the thing we're comfortable with. And a resistance against a repentant heart is a re antichrist spirit it's it's a spirit of antichrist it's a spirit denying the lordship 
of Christ in our lives. And so for us, we must not be like this hard-hearted, stiff-necked people who do not turn or change, but we need to be quick to repent. And if we do turn away from our sin, He is just and able to forgive us of our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This is the Spirit of Christ. This is the Spirit of holiness. This is the Holy Spirit that lives in us, that makes us children of God, that we overcome sin in our life. And those who overcome gave He right to become children of God. And that is what we are. And so it says, as for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will cry out aloud, and I will pray. This is how Daniel did three times a day, pray to God. In Peter, we see this, and here the psalmist says it. Three times a day, they're praying and crying out to God, just like Christ was always getting away, always seeking companionship and fellowship with God as Father. This is the key for us to always be seeking the fellowship and comfort and companionship of our Father. And it says that in verse 22, Cast your burden on the Lord, and He shall sustain you, and He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. And finally, I will trust in you, Lord. So let's pray. Father God, we do trust in you. We put our hope and faith and trust in you, our friend, our love, our companion, having the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit that turns us away from our sin to repentance. We have been set free from the law of sin and death and made servants and bound together to righteousness in Christ Jesus. So we give you praise, our Lord. We give you praise. Lord Jesus, proclaiming you to be God, our Savior, and our friend, forever. Praying Psalm chapter 55, verse 12 to 23. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it. Nor is it one who hates me, who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man, my equal, my companion, and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throng. Let death seize them. Let them go down alive into hell, for wickedness is their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and noon I will pray and cry aloud. And he shall hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many against me. God will hear and afflict them, even he who abides from old, because they do not change, therefore they do not fear God. He has put forth his hands against those who are at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, but they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in you. Father God, we cast our cares on you because you care for us. You sustain us. You keep us. In you we live, move, and have our being. And we owe our very life and breath. In you we put our trust and love. We love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I love you. Jesus loves you. Love one another. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.